coach, have you ever, is there really probably no better way to start conference dual season than the way you did last night? It's, you know, it's so exciting, right, all the way down to the wire. Yeah, that was a that was a fun duel. I think the whole way through, back and forth, a lot of close matches. Um, of course, there's a couple more we would have liked to win and, and not have it go right down to the wire. But um, that's how it worked out, and, and we have a lot of confidence in uh, our heavyweight Mitch Isle. Um, and it was a it was a tight match, obviously overtime match, and he, he had to find a way to win it for for himself and uh, obviously for the team. So pretty exciting way to finish. Um, it was a it was a fun environment. Uh, good crowd and uh, pretty pretty awesome way to get started with uh, a win over a rival. I'm sure, you've been in your share of close duels, you know, both as a competitor and a and a coach. But just with like you said, with with the environment and the atmosphere and the excitement at the end, you know, where, where did that one rank for you? Because certainly, it, it, you know, minus State beating Mary, that's a that's a big deal no matter yeah yeah you know for my first home duel here and uh, it, I'll, I'll definitely remember this one um, it, it was a lot of fun um, and, and so it was a it was a big win for us you know it's important to remember that uh, we, we go back we go to Mary in, in January um, and that's the one that really counts um, for the conference so we'll have to make some adjustments to get ready for that one but uh, it, it was it was pretty awesome to, to get started like that here at home what are you working on in the short term before you get to Upper Iowa? Um, you know, basically we're not a whole lot of time to prepare um, for that one. I think we're, we are prepared. It's more about getting our, our bodies help, feeling good and healthy. Um, and uh, we, we've got to uh, manage our weight a little bit better going into this next one. Um, I think that hurt us a little bit last night uh, coming off of uh, two weigh-ins uh, Friday and Saturday and then having to get right back down for, for Tuesday. Um, hurt a couple of our guys, so uh, we're focusing on uh, getting healthy, taking care of some injuries, and uh, managing our weight right. And, and just uh, uh, if we can do that, I think we'll be ready to go. You know, upper isn't going to be the first of these uh, conference duels. You're getting a couple of them here, you know, in, the, in a pretty short span of time. Um, I think all of which, if not almost all of which, are home. Um, after this, now a one and zero start in conference play. Does this? Does last night's win essentially raise the stakes? I mean, do you guys expect to go in and beat Upper Iowa and then beat some of these other conference teams? Yeah, I don't know if I would really say we expect to go in and beat them, but uh, what we're going to try and do is, uh, you know, we're, we're going to need to win a couple of, couple, we're going to need to win a couple of upsets, um, and uh, you know, Upper Iowa is going to be a tough team. Um, so we'll, if we're going to be able to beat them, it's going to be we're going to need some bonus points, uh, probably find a pin or two and pull off a couple of upsets. Um, and, and if we can do that, hopefully we can put, put Mitch in a position to win the duel and again for us. So that, that's the goal, um, is to, to hang in there with them until the end. And, and we, we're pretty confident in our, our upper weights uh, with Tiger and Mitch up there. Um, so if we can hang with them until that point, we feel like, uh, you know, with any team, I think we feel like we, um, you know, we'll have a, have a good shot at winning in the end. What does upper bring to the table? Where do their strengths lie? You know, I think they're just a really solid lineup all the way through. Um, they they uh, they got a, a full ro full roster, um, a lot of kids um, uh, on their team, and they just are, are always really solid at every weight class. Um, not a whole lot of weaknesses, and so I think that's why they're such a good dual meet team. Is uh, they they just don't have too many weak spots. Is upper and you know, upper isn't the only really solid program in the northern side. Is upper kind of a program that you? You know, aspired to, not to be exactly like, but certainly they're at a level that uh, that you'd like to get to. What's, yeah. What steps need to be taken for Minot State to, to get to that level of competitiveness? Right. Yeah. That's that is what we're we're, we're trying to get to. Um, they're they're one of the top tier programs in the in the conference, and, and as well as uh, Mankato, who we'll see next week. Um, so we'll we'll get to see kind of how we match up against these teams, but. Um, yeah, in order to build a program like they have, we got to continue to build our roster numbers um, and, and the quality of our of our roster, um, which obviously we will do through through a lot of hard work and, and recruiting. But uh, yeah, those are the teams that we're we're chasing down right now. So I know it hasn't been you know not a whole lot of time elapsed between the end of last night's duel and things like that. But uh, and I don't know how much stock you put into records and things like that. But uh, certainly a, a one and zero record in conference play is. Is something nice that you can hang your hat on for now. Do you do you feel maybe 
that energy with the players? Do you think this can maybe serve as a motivator for the definitely? Upcoming? Yeah, I think I think the guys are pretty pumped up about the about the win, um, and and so hopefully we can we can take that and, and build on that um, and just kind of continue to to. Uh, you know, go into this next duel and, and take what we've done well and just build on that and get get a little bit better each time we compete. Um, but hopefully we can take a little bit of this momentum into the, the weekend here and, and throw everything we got at Upper Iowa and see what we can do.